Digital Rights Management, or DRM, is an access control technology that is designed to limit the usage of digital media. DRM appears across many platforms. Apple uses custom DRM called Fairplay on purchased iTunes Music and iPod players. Most recently, DRM has become an issue in the gaming industry. Bioshock, The Sims, Mass Effect, and Spore are recent electronic arts titles that have come with DRM software called SecureOM. SecureOM is controversial, facing allegations of disabling drives and burners to entire system crashes. EA additionally planned to have Mass Effect require internet reactivation every 10 days. This was removed after intense criticisms from consumers. EA's most recent AAA title was also the subject to DRM controversy. Spore, developed by Maxis and designed by Will Wright, is a massively single-player online game that released in North America on September 7th. Spore was originally going to require the same 10 days reactivation like Mass Effect, yet it was again removed after widespread consumer backlash. The game shipped with a 3 install limit, allowing only 3 installations before the CD key is disabled and requires reactivation. Columnist Adrian Kingsley stated, the attack on Spore in the review pages on Amazon.com was swift and savage. A game that had been widely talked about for two years plummeted to a single star rating within three hours of release. Kingsley cited restrictive DRM, restrictive policy on accounts, and the feeling that for $50 you're really just renting the game as the main criticisms. Former Maxis employee and game developer Cliff Harris called the situation a totally avoidable disaster. For all the controversy, the DRM didn't stop piracy at all. A TorrentFreak.com writer stated that since September 2nd, when Spore first appeared on BitTorrent, it has been downloaded a little over 500,000 times, making it the most pirated game of all time. After the backlash, EA decided to increase the number of installs to 5 and open additional activation methods. Frank Gibbeau, EA Games label president, said, I believe we need to adapt our policy to accommodate our legitimate customers. However, he went on to say that DRM policy is essential to the economic structure we use to fund our games as well as the rights of the people who create them. He also noted that 86% of users had only used one activation so far. Spore has pulled DRM into the national spotlight and is likely to lead an intense discussion about the future of DRM and copy protection.